up with this transformer, yeah, I can stuff 20 kilowatts, maybe 24 kilowatts into it, and it ain't even going to complain. Right, well while I've got five minutes, I'm going to quickly modify this transformer. The first thing I want um, is to take off the existing secondary windings, because at the moment I've got 60 volts, about 250 amps. So, I'm going to show you guys today how I hack that secondary off and prepare it for new windings of 275mm, that big old cable on the secondary. I'll show you some 185. Well, well this is 185, which is, as you can see, it's quite fat. And as I say, on that transformer, I want 275, which is a lot thicker than this. So, once I get the secondaries off of that transformer, I'll have quite a bit of room around the coils to put my new windings on it. And from that, we should easily get 10,000 amps. So, uh, today, as I say, while I've got five minutes, I'm just going to hack off those um, secondaries and see what we get. So, uh, give you a quick close-up. And then I shall get my grinder out. Well, firstly, these are the primaries, which are quite close to the uh, centre coil. So I'm going to leave those. So basically, I'm going to take out these two, which are the secondaries. And I'm going to leave these primaries there. Come around the other side. They're the secondaries. And I want all of those hacked out. It's quite a uh, thick wire, that. So there's a little bit of scrap copper there, but as I say, if I can get these out, a little bit covered in cat's hair, then I'll have plenty of space to wrap the new cable round. Simple as that. So, uh, time to get chopping. Right, this is the first cut. It's the first layer of the second piece. I've cut cut down both sides. So I'm now going to take that off completely. Right, as you can see we've got 50% of these secondaries off and at this stage if I joined these two together at the bottom I could have 30 volts out of these. Look quite some colour as you can see. A fair little bit there. But I'm going to take the whole lot off. As you can see it gets easier when you start stripping it down. Um, this next bit is critical because I don't want to damage the primary windings but I want the secondaries off. Um, and there's all the one layer of it over there. So this is really quite straightforward actually. It didn't take long at all. So uh, I will carry on. Right, this uh, transformer, all the secondary windings are now off that transformer. So I've just now got a 24 kVA transformer with a primary on it, which is uh, quite heavy. And there, I've just put some welding cable on there, um, which is only 35 mil, uh, just to see how many amps we can get, and to check the phasing. Obviously, I'm going to put uh, some cable on there, which is uh, 10 times that diameter. So obviously we're going to have quite a bit of current. Let's see if I can sort those out and we get a current reading with just those. Just about to see that. Let's have a go. So That's 600 amps, just from that puny bit of wire, which is quite good. So I think we're going to have a bit of fun with that. Lots and lots of amps. So uh, that is looking good. That is going to be one monstrous transformer. That will kick out, guaranteed, 10,000 amps or more, easily. And we've got 24 kVA there. And that's actually being driven on a variac at the moment because it's uh, 
okay to do that providing uh, it's under no load conditions or you know not too heavy so I'm very pleased with that so far well that job was extremely easy and we've seen now how easy it is to get um, a decent sized transformer as I say 24 or 20 kVA whatever that is rip out the secondaries leave the primaries where they are and uh, you know, that welding wire there is um, just a quick test, just to check that I've got both coils in phase. Because if you get them wrong, one will just cancel out the other, and you'll get no bolts. But that's the way I'm going to wind it. But I've got to get some wire, which will be uh, ten times this thickness at least. Um, and we'll wrap that around it a few times, do it properly and nicely. And that will probably be railway cable which will be rated at uh, 650 volts, cross-section where we are, probably 275 millimetre, um, which is about an inch, the cable's about an inch diameter total. Um, so I'll probably get quite a few turns of that, and that will be absolutely awesome. That will turn that into a proper higher current transformer. My clamp meter won't be able to register it, it will be well over 10,000 amps, um, which is quite a lot. This uh, bit of bar, that will just glow red and pop like a bit of 5 amp fuse wire on a cooker. And uh, that's what we want. Of course it is. There's quite a bit of current there already. Should we have another little burn with it? Right, at the moment I'm just putting in 120 volts into the primary. As you can feel that there. Now I can use the variac to control that. So I'll crank it up a bit more. So we still have control through the variac, but with loads of amps. That at the moment is pulling only a hundred amps. So let's short it out some more. Got molten copper there somewhere. Where's my fire extinguisher? And that cable is just a tiny fraction of what we're going to get. I said I was going to put some 275 on it, but I had a little bit of a technical problem with 275. I couldn't get any, but I got some 400 mil, big heavy duty stuff. <laughs> 400 mil. So we've got to get that a few turns on that transformer, but that transformer does look extremely small now. So let's get a few turns of that on it, shall we? Right, I think this little beastie is going to pump out some amps. What do you reckon? Quite well, nice and warm though. Ooh, a bit flexible. <laughs> <laughs> 